when I'm teaching this class, I'm explaining more and more each week, like what's an exciting IGC. And again, it's very subjective. Some animators think differently. Um, some think, you know, totally different direction. And I'm going to explain what from my experience and the people I learned from as well. The way I'm going to break it down to you guys for your assignment is that do you guys want to do a character versus character, like a boss battle with the hero? Or do you want to do a uh, character versus situation? Stuff you see Drake, like falling off a set piece or a building. So that's how I want to break it down to you guys. So this is a boss finisher where the player grab hype, um, force grips Maris, throws him down, and then does a saber and she disappears. Her, her, part of her um, abilities is to disappear on the fly. So here, like, we're kind of presenting a challenge where he gets hit again, and then she's gonna do this state where she's trying to like, pretty much like take take you out. So it's an idle state, wait state, so it's based on the player's prompts. So it's interactive, you're fighting a boss in this interaction. So I'll just play this through real quick, I'll just scrub through it. So again, I'm just going over a few examples. So it's very over the top. You force grip her, grab her, and instead of just taking her out, you grab her in the midair, and then you force push her down to the air just to create more distance to take her out. So it's very over the top, um, superhero-esque. So those are all character versus character. We're fighting someone. And that's, you know, that's one choice if you want fighting one-on-one. -on -one. But another type of IGC is there's, it's character versus situational, like in the environment. And Drake does this a lot. If you think about it, Uncharted, there's not a lot of character versus character moments. It's all about Drake being in the situations. It's about set pieces, like something is, is about to break on him or something is chasing after him, like the Uncharted 4 trailer, like there's a big truck chasing him. You're not fighting the truck really, you're just trying to escape him. Uh, so it's a situational thing. And I'll explain why that's cool, like why do we like Drake because of that? Why, why, how is that different from any other character? Um, but here's a non inner here's a character versus situation. So Drake is jumping, and this is this is a gameplay animation. You're jumping, and all of a sudden you're gonna catch on. And then this right after you catch on, we play this animation that just pushes you as a player, and it's gonna be a slight IGC. So he lands, and then this is all IGC, it's an in-game cinematic, and then the ground buckles beneath him. So you fall and then you grab the ledge and then you go back to gameplay, you go into the climb line. So it's a very brief moment to give you like experience something cool, like, um, you know, something that's one off that doesn't happen that normally. It's situational, the ground cracked because you landed on it heavy. So that in that sense, like the camera didn't move, it didn't do this big pan, it didn't change. You feel immersive, like you didn't break the player's experience. The player, for all he knew or she knew, she thinks she's still controlling Drake because it happened seamlessly and so fast that it enticed you that it took the player control away from you. And you're like, whoa, oh, back to gameplay. I didn't realize that because you're still waiting. You're still watching. And that's the best IGC, you know, in terms of seamless that you can do. It makes you feel like you didn't break the experience. We do that. We plan that, right? We don't want to do it the whole game because then it becomes, you know, uh, you're hand holding the player too much.